didn't in my entire life. Specifically, the core reason I was really enthusiastic about learning this particular food is because it has an elementary process that can be made out of resources that are beside me yet has a variety of uses that can help climate change resilient drought seasons and also long voice due to its capability to stay for a long period of time. The process of making the melon is to cut the ripe pink pandanus that have deep orange color meaning it has a lot of juice in it and is ready to eat. After cutting the pandanus, the second step is to unattach each exocorp and mesocorp pandanus fruit from the endocorp. The third step is to boil them. After 30 to 40 minutes of boiling, its exocorp and mesocorp of the pandanus are now squeezed to have all the juice and sweet cream from the pandanus mesocarpal. After it being converted into a juicy and creamy dish, now we have the melon. It can be eaten after it cooked or can also be dehydrated under the sun for 7 days or longer depending on the condition of the weather to, to convert it into what we call jangun. The cream of melon becomes jangun after it dried up with a much richer and sweeter taste and is capable of staying for a long period of time. The lesson I have gained that will both benefit me as I seek higher education and also my lifelong surviving skill is on how to utilize our local food sustainability in addition to converting them to, a, to have a long term usage. From my own perspective, I learned that it is highly essential to have the knowledge of the aquatic, climatorial, and land for survival on Machete Island. It is important for them to know the aquatic ecosystem because if they don't know about the island marine environment, then they will know specific locations to catch fish and they won't able to survive. On the other hand, it is also required to know about the weather because it helps them predict what periods there is rain and no rain so they can preserve water. Last but not least, it is also important to have the knowledge of knowing the land as a way to help people with agricultural method and technique to enhance their soil richness using local materials and also to select which type of plants are suitable for the available type of soil. To conclude, the knowledge I've gained from the um, trip I participated back in 2018 really contributed a lot to out my education that CMI as a marine science pursuant I have no doubt it will also help me until I update my bachelor degree in the year to come.